this has all the makings of a superb World Cup final. The atmosphere has been building steadily all day. We have a fantastic crowd in this 18,000 capacity stadium. Ireland has been the, the best attended Women's World Cup to date. It's the most viewed on television. It's also the most viewed online and the most spoken about Women's World Cup in history on social media, which you'd expect. I think it's going to be huge, um, like seeing all the wee girls coming out to, to watch the games and um, them being able to come and see some of their heroes like on, on all the different teams playing. Um, I think that's going to be a huge inspiration for them um, and it's just going to be massive for, for the women's game within Ireland. Brings it now, Woodman, into the backfield, Portia Woodman, you're killing me! That is magnificent! People can see women playing rugby, and the people who've not seen it before are pleasantly surprised, so just more coverage getting out there, that, that's the most important thing, and I suspect there's going to be a heck of a lot of young girls playing in, in, in Ireland over, over the next few months because they want to try this wonderful game that we've all enjoyed so much. Yeah, I think there's been a lot more girls teams um, coming out, like the underage girls, um, and even women's um, development sides within Ulster, within the whole of Ireland. And there's more clubs doing the give it a try sessions. So it, it is great to see that there's, there's an increase in the participation in women's rugby. Everybody aspires to be an international referee. Everybody has got to start somewhere, and this is, a, is an opportunity, just like we have in many other uh, World Rugby tournaments, to see referees refereeing in this type of environment and see what kind of credentials they have. And it's, uh, I have to say, I've been blown away with the, the quality that we've had. Um, engagement on social media. Um, which has been as much male as female, which means that people are interested in the product. Uh, it's no longer a curiosity, it's very much about the rugby. I've been in a couple of taxis over the last um, week with, with, with men, male taxi drivers, who you know, were telling me that they weren't interested in rugby. They certainly weren't interested in women's rugby and they didn't think that they, that they would ever be interested in watching a game. They've watched it, they've got hooked by it, and they're really all talking about um, you know, the missed opportunity they've had up to now. I met these two old guys on my tour bus. We called them the Silver Foxes. And they'd never watched women's rugby in their life. Wanted to go on holiday, and they found out that Women's Rugby World Cup was on. So they came here to watch Women's World Cup. Arrived for the semi-final, and they said they were amazed. And they'd never watched it before in their life. These games are no longer just live stream. They are on television, so we're in front of the media. So in, in turn, that starts developing um, more corporate partnerships and commercial relationships, which will invest in the game and only make the game stronger for us. You're going to see a lot more tournaments. You're going to see a lot more senior executive positions filled by females, a lot more investment in the game, and therefore a higher profile, far more fan engagement. So it's a very, very exciting future for the women's game. We will have seen close to around 50 million video views by the end of this tournament. So again, the engagement levels have been higher too. So yeah, this is another, another level, even versus France three years ago.